Hello YouTube friends, welcome back. We're nearing the end of this project now. You've seen John explaining about where the wood came from. You've seen Rachel turning that amazing wood into spoons. You've seen Lisa who made the beautiful bowls that are going to go into this set. And now I want to introduce you to Louise. Now, regular viewers of the channel will recognise Louise because she made the beautiful painting that we had made into the print, The Midnight Cat, to go into the Christmas boxes last year. And so when I was thinking about the kind of um, print that I wanted to include in this set, I asked Louise and we talked about this, about how we would interpret the idea of the dish and the spoon in uh, this beautiful print. Um, our friend Paul printed it for us and these prints will now be available in your box of the dish run away with the spoon. I love visiting Louise. She's got the most beautiful creative house and when Anna and I filmed there we did a huge amount more filming than there is in this little YouTube video that's coming now. And so all of that extra footage is all available over on Patreon for anybody who would like to see in more detail. Uh, and also, spoiler alert, some puppies. Because <laughs> Louise has lots of lovely animals, cats, dogs, horses, guinea pigs, but you will get to see the puppies <laughs> over, over on Patreon. This project now is complete. And so the dish is ready, the spoon is ready, and the print is ready. And now what we're going to do is pack all of that lot together and the next time we visit this project is going to be a bit of a special uh, conclusion of how this project has come together. So on the end card there, uh, I will put a link to the playlist where you can see all the other clever makers who've been contributing to this series. And also on the end card, I'll pop a link to Patreon where you can find the behind the scenes stuff. So join us next time for the very last in this series. Thanks for watching and enjoy Louise who's coming now. So I, today I'm going to be working on Kate's picture, which is a colourful, uh, very kind of slightly related to the, um, the nursery rhyme of Hey Diddle Diddle, Cat and the Fiddle, very loosely um, associated but not completely. And I have been uh, preparing by doing small practice sketches on different pieces of paper, getting the colours um, right and yeah, just getting getting ready to do a final version which I've started working on so I've got a little one here as well so that's eventually what it's going to be like, well part of it. 
So I'm, I'm kind of, I've pretty much sorted out all the colours that I'm going to use and now I just have to, yes, yeah, I have to go for it, I have to paint, paint it. Adding around. I've got a little note here which everyone might find a bit weird. What does it say? In my next life, I want to be a tree. <laughs> Like, she's a bit far out, that, <laughs> that painter. <laughs> she is. Yeah, these are the different... So this is the very, very first version of the picture, which has come to the the final one, and these were some other ones. Kate actually liked all of them. I like the star dog, best of all. Yeah. But then I talked to Martha and Adam about keeping this connected to the project mm -hmm. which is why we went for the one that you're doing yeah which is um the moon the cat the little dog and the dish and the spoon around the outside and so i do like the star dog i might have to commission you to make the star dog anyway so these are the um i would design generally in paper and then to understand the colors a bit better um quickly do a quick colour in uh, um, Procreate on an iPad. Um, so that is the one. It actually doesn't look very much like a final version. Um, the way the kind of digital colouring translates into um, analogue colouring, I think maybe I'm not just not quite amazing at it, but it just gives me um, a better idea of, of how the colours are going to work. I had a good chat, I had a, went and had a chat with a friend of you know Ellie my friend Ellie Rennick and she's really like she's really kind of knowledgeable about like color theory and you know all that kind of more technical side which I have you know not not really good on and you know like I was like how can I make this how can I just you know how can I make this work a bit better and she totally nailed it you know with the kind of tone and the opacity and the contrasting colors and all that sort of thing really helped me out so that was that was really good so what I'm, what I'm gonna this is what I do, do just do a whole wash of the whole thing it's like because quite often when I'm doing stuff I don't really know how it's going to turn out yeah you know quite often with my work I don't really know how it's going to turn out and it's like that for me that's kind of fine yeah that must be part of the fun right like yeah it develops and... and like it's that thing of as soon as you start getting like you know really kind of uptight everything just looks rubbish yeah so you need to like yeah, feel, feel kind of relaxed and, yeah. It looks so nice. I really like the colours. Yeah, I love these colours. I think it, anyone who kind of, I mean, you probably understand this, Kate, anyone who's like a, a maker, it's, it's like really about, re, you know, the psychologists talk about it, don't they? It's like getting in that kind of state of flow. Mm which is like really, really beneficial for you, like your mental health. Mm -hmm. And obviously kind of, it's the kind of, you know, when you like forget about what time it is and suddenly it's like the end of the day and the kids are coming home and you've, you've kind of, you know, lost track of time. <clears throat> but I think that's when, you know, like that's when all the best stuff happens. Hopefully anyway, and if it doesn't, that's fine as well.
hope people find it interesting. <laughs> I can promise you. Like, where's the quilt? <laughs> yeah, I can promise you. People are going to love this. You okay? Falling over all the ceramics. Must be nice working from here with that view out there. And mm. Yeah, no, it is. I know. I suddenly, because I'm and that my studio over there is, it's just been plastered the other day, so it's really nearly finished. Oh, and I, and then I suddenly had a feeling of like, oh, but I'm gonna really miss this room. But mm. Hester's gonna. She's claimed it already for her bedroom. <laughs> but what I'm I'm not gonna miss having to walk through the kitchen. And do like I just cut you know like I've, it's something about the kitchen just being there with all the washing up and the tidying yeah. up and you know there's normally like it's, it's normally messy basically I'm not gonna miss not having to not having to see that all the time that just did my head in So, out of the window, it's beautiful, um, kind of late spring colours of all the, all the beech leaves are an amazing uh, lime green colour, and they've all got a bit too long, so they were kind of almost touching the ground. Um, the grass on the lawn is overgrown, as usual, because our, our lawnmower is probably broken. Um, I can see that fennel and the foxgloves just starting to creep above the line of the window and I can see um, my daughter's guinea pig in his little hutch and <laughs> and my yeah my new shed which is probably 80% finished uh, I think shed's the wrong word I quite I quite like shed but okay. yeah no I <laughs> I've yeah I've, maybe I'll one day kind of um, graduate to studio but I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure if I've if I've quite got there yet but yeah it's a studio yeah maybe what workshop I quite like workshop So this is, um, I think, is the final one, and what will be made into a print to go into your box. I'm not sure if the box has got a title yet. Uh, so it's it's roughly the same as the one that I initially did the thumbnail of, and it's um, it had a few different chats with Kate along the way, and uh, slightly kind of changed colours, bits and bobs, tried to make it still a bit relevant to. Um, 
what's it called again? Hey Diddle Diddle. Um, yeah, and pretty much finished. There we go. <laughs>